Hi guys and welcome back to my channel once again. So in this video we're going to be talking about why fasting with fruits is good for the general health of your skin and not just your skin on your face, your whole body. If you suffer from strawberry legs, hyperpigmentation, ingrowing hairs, a lot of those issues are stemming from um, mineral and vitamin deficiencies. It's not just about what you apply to your skin, it's not about being hereditary, it's not something you've always been born with, some people do feel like that, but it's deeper than that. And if you do feel like it's something you've been born with, it could just be something that your mother could have passed on to you when you was in the womb, which you feel could have been hereditary or you could ha could feel that, okay, I was born with this. But to, to be honest, there is light at the end of the tunnel and it's not good to feel that you're born with being abnormal to everyone else. Like everyone has the opportunity and the chance to change something that they feel is wrong with them. So fasting with fruits is great for the general health of your skin. It's perfect if you have skin issues and acne and spots and stuff like that. It clears your skin, it revitalizes your skin, it renews your skin. Remember your skin renews itself every seven to 10 days, even the skin on your body. And when you continue to you know, fast with fruits, do your intermittent fasting, you're not necessarily cutting all of the foods you genu genuinely eat out of your diet. You're just minimizing them and you're just putting them into portions with your fruits throughout the day. So not together, but throughout the day. So if you want any more information about fasting with fruits or intermittent fasting, just ask. But since I have been fasting with fruits and doing my intermittent fasting, I have seen such a significant change in my pigmentation on my skin, my strawberry legs, my ingrown hairs or whatever you want to call it. I no longer get them and if I do they're very very minuscule. This is because my body is changing and my body is being nourished by the natural fruits and vegetables of the earth, um, things that have come from God. So um, I wanna touch on on um, some other stuff that I've been doing to prevent these issues and what makes sense to me and what is working for me. So the, the use of tight clothing is so vital when it comes to you know ingrowing hair, strawberry legs, hyperpigmentation on the skin and the body, the fact that your skin finds it hard to even breathe can affect um, the pigmentation on your body. It could cause dark marks, dark spots, strawberry legs, ingrowing hairs, all that kind of stuff. So if you're wearing tight jeans all the time, especially to work every day, it's so routine and it's very habitual and we need to try and change this narrative that we don't do these things all the time. Like just look into yourself and try to remember because we do like wearing tight clothing, wearing a load of clothing to bed, bad circulation. And it does st stem from bad circulation because if your circulation isn't good, you could suffer from rheumatism. And if your your circulation isn't good, you tend to wear more clothing. And if you're wearing a lot of unnatural clothing, like nylons and polyesters, your skin can't breathe. And this is a deficiency in the skin. So less tight clothing, less jeans. I haven't. I don't remember the last time I've literally wore jeans out. I wear a lot of loose clothing now. And if I wear leggings they're not really tight fitting and they are made from a fabric that allows my skin to breathe um, cotton. I'm trying to change um, the use of cotton just because of my personal reasons, but I feel like I want something a bit more natural. If I could wear silk every day, that would be amazing. And you're probably thinking natural, like cotton, but we're not gonna get into that. But um, yeah. 
So just 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 minimize the use. Just be mindful of the fabrics you're wearing and when you go to sleep, your skin needs to breathe, no matter if you're warm or you're cold. But if you are cold, and if you are cold all the time, you have a vitamin or mineral deficiency which you need to, you know, sort out. Also, you know, pigmentation problems come from vitamin and mineral deficiency. As I said, you need to be taking your vitamin Cs, your vitamin B complexes, your vitamin Ds. Um, these things are very, very important. Your minerals, um, like your phy phytonutrients, your micronutrients, you, you need to be taking these things um, because they're very important. It's in your body flowing towards normality and this is very, very important. So as I said, um, I'm gonna put a picture up of my legs on my thumbnail. And you know, I've, I've seen a, a huge difference in my overall skin health um, and my legs. And it just makes sense what I've been doing and I've just mi been minimizing the use of unnatural fibers and tight clothing and you know a lot more water a lot more fruit a lot more fruit water but what i find as well like no matter how much water i incorporate into my diet it doesn't necessarily change the appearance of my skin the only thing that really does is fruit water so that's why i've been doing intermittent fasting with fruits um so make sure you're getting your minerals make sure you're getting your vitamins uh, and yeah, and make sure you're just looking after <clears throat> general health of your body. So I hope this video um, has helped to some extent and I'll see you in my next video.